All right, we are starting today's episode off by using a thousand scrolls of redirection with a thousand house teleport tablets, unlocking some pretty useful teleports that'll be used during the course of doing clue scrolls, among many other things. So this looks really good in the bank here. We are adding to an already decent collection. I got all the ancient teleports by doing a little bit of Wilderness Slayer and a little bit of LMS. And we still have 1,300 house teleports left, so it's always good to AFK uh, in your POH using Soft Clay just to create those. And I just wanted to update you guys on some other things. I recently made some amulets of bounty, chemistry, and burning, as well as dodgy necklaces and necklaces of passage for the first time ever because I tried out gem rocks for a few hours. Also restocked on some rings of dueling, recoils, and dig site pendants, so we should be good for teleports. And if you missed my 10 hours of aerial fishing video, I did unlock the golden tench as well as the pearl fishing rod. But getting back into today's video, we do have an easy and medium clue that we're going to open. Nothing from the easy and from the medium, no duplicate rangers. So yeah, not the greatest clue scroll rewards. But since I was doing some AFKing at Anglers, I caught about a thousand and I did a couple of uh, clue scrolls here, but the only notable item I got was an armadillo cloak. And after being done with all of that, I decided to do a little bit of Slayer. I got assigned an elf task and since I haven't done Song of the Elves yet, which I should be doing in the next episode, we just did them in the normal location. I did manage to get a hard clue, which we'll be doing that right after. But before we continue on with today's video. This video is brought to you by Dungeon Hunter 6, the latest addition to the beloved hack and slash franchise. Get ready for fast paced hack and slash action where you can build your character with unique skills and conquer mighty bosses. Dungeon Hunter 6 offers an immersive experience with both PvE and PvP modes, including real time guild wars and multiplayer guild raids. Embark on an epic adventure like never before with Dungeon Hunter 6. It's absolutely free to play and you can download it now using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen if you're viewing on a PC. Dungeon Hunter 6 delivers a unique and immersive multiplayer experience on mobile devices. Check out the huge number of units allowed on your screen with stunning skill animations optimized for multicasting. So you can enjoy smooth, fast-paced gameplay and top 3D graphics wherever you are. You can either engage in intense guild battles and epic boss raids with your friends or enjoy casual farming and other relaxing game modes. You can also customize your outfits and mounts when you meet other players. The quality of life in Dungeon Hunter 6 has been optimized to make your time investment in a mobile MMO worthwhile. Dungeon Hunter 6 features a unique gacha mechanism by which you can not only loot and ride the bosses but also summon up to three of them onto the battlefield to become members of your squad, make them follow you anywhere, and perform combo skills. You can even shapeshift into them to harness the ultimate power when you reach the late game. There are over six classes and over a hundred uniquely designed bosses to conquer and explore. Check out the latest class here, Shaman, just released for the holiday season so you can be the first group to try it out. So what are you waiting for? Download the game now for free on both Android and iOS by using my link in the description or scanning the QR code if you're viewing on a PC and you will receive a special starter pack worth $50 which includes 10 summoning scrolls, one SSR lieutenant, demonic wolf, and one accessory pack. And a huge thank you to Dungeon Hunter six for sponsoring today's video all right we completed the elf task 86k and a hard clue let's go ahead and do this hard clue real quick and we receive 102k just some alkables from that one and our next slayer assignment is czars so i'm gonna go ahead and try out jad for this one just because i rarely do jad on the iron man account but it should be a little faster since we're on slayer task really smooth cave run except the very first hit on jad you know i was a little too slow there but other than that it was a somewhat successful jad kill and yeah i just wanted to get a backup fire cape only have one in the bank so i figure if we get another one just in case i happen to lose the first one you know it'll save us time for the future and it was a pretty enjoyable task we had 25k xp unfortunately no pet but i did complete an elite and master combat task which unlocked the medium tier rewards so we'll go claim that just banking the second fire cape real quick in the future i'll definitely continue to do jad tasks and maybe we can build up a nice fire cape collection so we can turn them all in one day but here are some rewards from the medium tier. We got a 5k XP lamp as well as a 10k XP lamp as well as some other nice perks. But our next Slayer task after that Jad one is 151 Black Demons. I'm at a current kill count as it goes for killing the Demonic Gorillas of 576. And had I not lost my Ring of Suffering two episodes ago, I would only have needed one more Zenite to be complete uh, with all of my jewelry. And that would be the Amulet of Torture. But now we're back grinding for two Zenites 
highlights instead of one. We're going to hopefully get one and then recreate my Ring of Suffering. And then for the next Zenite, we will go for the Amulet of Torture. We are going to be needing another Onyx for that torture, but we should be able to get one by the time we uh, get a second Zenite. Hopefully we have some luck here. Some tasks are definitely luckier than others. I absolutely love the drop table of these gorillas because not only do they drop incredible alkables, but they drop Zenite shards. 7.2 million. This is only about 47 gorillas in, so we still have 103 left to kill, and yeah, just really early Zenite. My luck is incredible. This would have been the completion of all the Zenite jewelry, but it's not because I decided to skull up and die at Calvarion. So you gotta be careful with that, uh, but yeah, we're at current KC of 634 demonics killed, one Zenite left to go, and then we can get the Amulet of Torture. I also killed a thousand tortured gorillas, but I never got any Zenite from them, so maybe my luck is like paying off because of that. I don't know, but there's another Zenite shard. This was only, I think, what, 20 more gorillas, and we have now completed it. If as long as I don't uh, scroll up and lose another piece of jewelry, we are done forever with uh, needing Zenites. My luck is incredible here. I actually am never going to stop doing Demonic Gorilla Slayer tasks. I'm just not a fan of Black Demons, so I would rather do Demonics and still get more uh, Zenites in the future. So yeah, we'll just have some backups at this point. But for now, we're going to go ahead and complete a hard clue to receive uh, minimal stuff there. 66k, we're going to drop that green dragon mask. I just don't have the space for those things. But I am so happy. 667 demonic gorillas killed. And not only did we complete all of the Zenites, but we got an extra one, technically speaking. So that's just huge for me. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this task entirely. Then I'll go and remake my Ring of Suffering and imbue it with Nightmare Zone points, as well as add some recoils to it. I did also manage to get my third light frame. I think I'm only missing the heavy frame and then I can complete a heavy ballista, but I do have all the components for a light ballista. It's just no use to me, so I probably won't ever make it. But needless to say, it was a very successful task. Not only do these things drop zenites and incredible alkables as well as seeds and herbs, but you can also expect clue scrolls, which I love doing. So yeah, I got a lot of hard clues as well. Another task complete, 61k XP from this one and still not a lot of slayer points because I'm always canceling out tasks in order to get the ones that I actually need, but there's 45k from a hard clue. And now we are going to fuse the Zenite Shard with the Onyx over here as a zombie monkey, and we're going to create our uncut Zenite. So we'll go ahead and chisel him into a cut Zenite, run over to the Edgeville Furnace with the cut Zenite as well as a golden bar to create none other than the Zenite Ring. Now we have to use level 7 enchant for the creation of the Ring of Suffering, and lastly we are going to fill it up with 953 Rings of Recoil. This should last a long time and still leaves me with 2,000 left if we uh, somehow lose this ring one day. But before we add the recoils, we have to go to Nightmare Zone. I did AFK a little bit of that and spent 725,000 points to re-imbue our Ring of Suffering. So let's add those recoils into it. And there we have it, 38,000 Rings of Recoil charges. It is imbued, it's ready to go, and that is perfect for going back to Zolra because I did not want to return to Zolra with Rings of Recoil. That's no fun. Last episode, you may remember I did a little bit of prayer training and I did get 90 prayers. So it just so happened that I had a little bit of insult heads that I wanted to AFK recently. And that brought me relatively close to 91 prayer. I only experienced one PKer as I was trying the chaos altar with some dragon bones that I got from PVMing. Didn't lose anything to the PKer luckily. And I did finish off 91 prayer by the use of insult heads and just minimal uh, use of dragon bones. So yeah, it's a little bit closer to 99 now. But now it's time that we return to the snake. 600 Zolra kills and we're still missing the magic fang for my trident and the serpentine visage for a serpentine helmet. The serpentine helmet would save me a lot of effort with using anti-venoms. I wouldn't have to bring them anymore at Zolra and it would also be useful at so many other places. And the magic fang, as all of you know, will help out my normal trident significantly. So I really hope I get at least one of those items. I already have duplicate blowpipes and I've had a lot of onyxes. I actually really do need one more onyx so we can make that amulet of torture. So I'm all for it. I mean, if we can get an onyx, that's great. If we can get a serpentine, that'd be even better. And if we can get a magic fang, that's what I really want. I I'd rather have that at this point than the pet or any type of mutagen. We are 600 kill count. So let's go ahead and just do a simple flat 100 kills with this setup. It's pretty good. I'm always using cast vengeance to do more damage to Zolra. I am now playing on resizable as 
well, so it's a little bit different uh, in this video compared to last, but I think it looks better. Let me know in the comments section below if you prefer this HD resizable layout versus my older layouts. And while you're at it, let me know what you think about this third Tanzanite Fang. This is just rough to see. 616 kills. This is about 16 kills into this current grind. And yeah, it's my third blowpipe. I don't think I'll ever lose a blowpipe. Like, why would you even bring that in the wilderness anyway? So, you know, three Tans Fangs is just not necessary. I appreciate the generosity, but I'm going to need that magic fang instead. So hopefully we can uh, change this luck around. But for now, we're doing pretty good. I love Zolra's normal drop table. Similar to Demonic Gorilla's, everything is useful, especially for an Iron Man. I really do want a max cape one day in the far future after I complete uh, upgrading myself to best in slot, of course. And so all of these uh, drops are so useful. Coconuts and seeds, as well as herbs. Even the U logs I'll probably eventually fletch. So, you know, everything is going to be useful for long-term and short-term skilling projects. Crafting is probably the short-term because, you know, you get minimal battle staves from so many different monsters, but every little bit helps towards 99. 60 kills in so far, no drop other than the Tanzanite, but we are getting some Zolra teleports, which I absolutely love to use because it speeds up these kills an hour by so much more compared to using the Fairy Ring. I did recharge the Trident with almost 2,100 charges, and I almost died here on the last hit. I tanked it at 3 HP for for the Tanzanite Fang. I can only imagine I would have died here if it would have been the Magic Fang, knowing my luck. So I did tank the hit, but we, we got unlucky with the rare again. Four blowpipes and 672 kills, as well as two onyxes. Well, what can I say? You never know where your luck will lie with all these different monsters and bosses in old school RuneScape, but we're still getting rares on a pretty good average. I mean, we're, you know, it's like every hundred kills we're getting something, as well as all these elite clue scrolls too. One benefit of not having the Trident of the Swan Swamp, you know, not having access to the Magic Fang just yet, is we get to stack up all these Zolra scales. And I don't just get Zolra scales from PVMing that Zolra, I actually do quite a bit of fishing too for them, so yeah, we should have uh, close to 150,000 by now. But there's 100 kills completed, we're gonna go ahead and fletch these blowpipes and just stack them in the drop tab. Three blowpipes now, other than the, the one that I'm currently using. Well, I definitely needed a break from those uh, Zolra kills, so I wanted to do a little bit of Hunter. We are nearing 98 after after grinding out 10 hours of aerial fishing, it left me with just shy of 300k XP until 98 Hunter. I really need Black Chin Champas because I'm still missing the Armadil Chain Skirt and the Armadil Hilt from Criara. So I am going to return there next episode with all of these Black Chin Champas from this one. And they will all be thrown at Cree as hard as I can to make sure we get that Chain Skirt drop. So on top of that, we'll get 98 Hunter here pretty soon. And I'll probably grind out 99 in the next episode. Hunter is by far my favorite skill. Uh, nowadays. It used to be runecrafting, but I'd say it is hunter now. So I definitely see myself coming back here post-99 as well, especially if I go dry for that armadillo chain skirt drop. We're going to need extra black chin chompas. So let's just continue to stack these up. I'm also geared for any PKer, and I have turned on loot keys. So if I do happen to get any anti-PKs during this video, I'll just be able to kill myself with my main and get all the loot. So that'd be incredible. Well, I ended up banking about 450 black chins, and then I went ahead and caught 450 more, which did lead me to 98 Hunter. We are now one level away from another 99 on the Iron Man. I did a lot of herbivore for the uh, Hunter levels, and before that, I caught about 15,000 red chins, and the rest of them were black chins. So yeah, I'll probably finish up at uh, black chins for 99. But now that we've completed that, let's go ahead and do a few Scotizo kills. I have a current KC of 19, so we'll try and get maybe 30 if that's possible. I do have a current stack of 25 dark totems in the bank to use. There there's our first kill, and we did get a hard clue, not an elite or anything crazy, so let's go ahead and do that for 62k. Now, if you're curious as to why I'm doing Scotizo, not only does he have an onyx drop, which is one in a thousand, but the main thing I want from this boss is the dark claw, so that I can actually have a colored slayer helm instead of a normal one. That is my favorite one by far, and I don't have it on my main, so I'd really like that, and I would also like the pet. So yeah, there's multiple reasons to kill this boss. It's not really that huge for gear, but I still want to do it anyway. And I scouted a lucky impling for my main account, and I got a staff of air, so I guess I'll equip that while I AFK 200 mil cooking. And from the hard clue scroll, we get 201k this time, some nice purple sweets, but other than that, just some basic things, but let's go back to Scotizo here. We are now on our third kill, guaranteed hard clue every single time, and luckily I can complete all the hard clue steps except one, so the odds are definitely in my favor. 
Uh, as it goes for the drops, though, we did get a unique from this one. It's just a black cavalier, though. I will keep it for now, but I do not have the bank space available for all these miscellaneous clue items. So I really need to build something in my POH where I can start storing them inside of that. But for now, I guess we'll keep it. Another kill coming in from Scoti. So those 500 death runes are very much needed for the trident. And from this clue, we get two uniques. A really nice one, too. Bando's dehyde body and a Zamorak plate skirt. That is actually my second of both of those items, but I guess my collection log didn't track them the first time around but yeah nice collection of god items so far in the bank tab all right another scotizo kill coming up here where's my elite clue there it is right there so now we get to do a hard and an elite i do not want to uh, invest these two into masters just on the off chance that i can't complete the master so let's go ahead and get that hard clue casket and of course the elite clue casket and what do you guys think we're going to get from these two which one's going to be better i got money on the hard let's see 122k cyclops head armadillo plate legs two uniques not too bad and from the elite clue okay surprisingly we actually made more from the elite 254k and a master oh you gotta love having the vialdi cave step for the last step that you think is the last step but it's actually not seven steps in i really hope i can complete this one what is the sherlock step going to be i actually forgot but we did it so let's go ahead and open up this master my first ever master clue what are we gonna get absolutely nothing how is that even 400k no no well let's go ahead and make a god sword blade save some more bank space and let's check on the kingdom this was a huge haul i think this is over 6 million gp worth of herbs and logs logs are going to benefit me for construction the nests are minimal but useful and we'll go ahead and add another 400k always make sure i check the kingdom at least once a month i actually decided to save a little bit of time here instead of spam clicking the herbs i just simply use the rk spell book spell named D Grime, and not only do you get herb lore and magic xp but it cleans all your herbs for you i love learning new things especially shortcuts so yeah there's 6.7 mil from the kingdom of miscellanea i decided to return to scotizo go for 29 kc so we can say that we killed it 10 times exactly managed to get not too much from that kill but the hard clue did give me another unique these uniques are just so common uh so that's nice i'll definitely take it explorer's backpack well before i do those next four scotizo Tizo kills. I just wanted to try out 50 more Zolra kills. As you can see, my graphics look even different than they did before. I don't know what's going on. I think I'm on winter mode now in RuneScape. So I guess that explains the snow being in the swamp, but there's a uh, Rune Square Shield. That is very, very rare. So yeah, I probably shouldn't have come back here, but I just wanted to do 50 more kills. I figure what's the big difference between 700 and 750 anyway, but I wasn't really getting too much. Uh, still in hunt of the Trident of the Swamp, of course, and the Serpentine helmet so we're going to be uh, continuing this zolra grind on and off until we get those two items all right what are we going to get from the elite clue casket 89 okay that's more like it that's the elite clue that i remember but anyway 10 more kills to go here at zolra still stacking up that flax and stacking up those scales i got a triple scale drop which almost never happens so that's pretty nice 1200 zolra scales so let's go ahead and not add those into the trident currently for 2400 more charges and that should get us uh 750 kc and plenty more after that 50 kills completed the cry emote is needed because we are still dry for what we need but it's okay we're one step closer might have better luck at scotizo we still haven't managed to get my claw which is only one in 25 so i am over the drop rate but what are we going to get from the hard clue another unique armadillo kite shield i think that's like my fourth one so i don't know how that's unique but i will take it returning to scotizo for the seems like millionth time this video we got some rune plate bodies as well as some ancient shards i think we have a stack of over a hundred ancient shards but i'll never say no to more because those are going to be used in the future zamorak corp you name it arc light is needed but i love these alchemical drops too i'm collecting all of them for whenever i go for 99 agility i'll high alk everything then but yeah 60k from that hard clue not really too much uh, from the hard clues other than the uniques but on our final 29th kill overall 10th kill for this video what is scotizo have for me it's not the claw but it's a miniature version of himself i will take it we got a pet ladies and gentlemen something that i honestly wasn't going for i was more so wanting the claw but i did say i wouldn't mind having the pet either so i will take it the last pet we got was the farming one and that was a few months ago doing a mahogany tree run so we're on a pretty good streak with that but with that being said the final clue 54k not the greatest but i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video we got a couple 
full drops here. Not too many, but we reobtained my Ring of Suffering imbued, and we got the final Zenite for the Amulet of Torture in the future. We're currently at 154,000 Zolra scales, and we have 1,000 Black Chins banked for future Armadil ventures. Four Below Pipes now, astonishingly, and a couple more useful God items obtained as well. Next episode, I'm going to be focusing on finishing Zolra and finishing Armadil, and uh, probably among quite a few other things as well. But uh, I'm loving this series so far, and I hope you guys are too. Merry Christmas to every single one of you, and a happy new year that is coming up. I should be uploading before New Year's, obviously, but uh, just uh, an advanced one. So there's the Rune Light Loot Tracker for today's grind, today's journey. And yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for everything. I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to say I'm going to go to sleep now because the top comment on last video was about, wow, Mr. No Sleep goes to sleep. What, you know, what, what, what world are we living in? But, uh, you know, the, the world we're living in is crazy anyway. You know what I mean? So I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to see you next time. I want to give a huge shout out to the YouTube channel members with a special one to Angels Blood, Deception Z, X Exotic X, and Necro Fear. You guys are incredible. Happy holidays. Uh, if you want to support the channel further, you can feel free to download today's sponsor on screen there or in the link in the description. Uh, till next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one. Mr. No Sleep out.